next tomorrow by 2 a.m you now wake up out of zeal you say i'm a warrior you carry this for you are good it's me that will kill you because you are going to spoil our plan so because in the order of this we are trying to work as princes that understand ranking and authority because when you begin to operate like that you break ranks you break authority when you break those things by default you are demanded to die because sometimes the reason why many people lose in a battle is because somebody among them refused to obey the law and when you don't follow through the patterns of the law what happens is that principalities will come to take advantage of you so we rest and because principalities are the highest they will never come after a normal believer and let me tell you you may cast out demons they are not legal to function but princes are legal why is princes legal let me explain to you look at the order of god the gaze of god right if god say if everything about god is right 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 the day you go left you meet principalities do you understand my point so principalities are the high-ranking princes in the operations of disobedience that's what i mean so if you're obeying god 100 you have no business with them if you disobey god at any moment to the climax of it you collide with principalities you get the point now. it's not because of it they are legal to function if you refuse god in your apex of disobedience what you jam is principalities are we there now same thing uh -huh. powers of course powers is as a resultant effect of the sacrifice of anybody power is an entity that you are given as a result of sacrifice for a believer the only sacrifice needed for you to gain power is prayer prayer is directly proportional to power of course knowledge is power but doubt me it's only a knowledge intermingled with prayer that will give you power forget it what you call power is a resultant effect of prayer so we rest not against flesh and blood but against principalities i explained to principality when we talk about power here we talk about the acquisition of a believer as a resultant effect of his sacrifice or the acquisition of any person as a resultant effect of a sacrifice somebody can go and sleep in the grave and meet some beings and those beings can give him power it's true act chapter 1 verse 8 and ye shall receive power after the holy ghost has come upon you and ye shall be my witness so what god gave them was what power when they began to ask will we again restore the kingdom unto israel it's not given to you to know but ye shall receive power after the holy ghost has come but when we talk about power power is not only available in the kingdom of light power is also available in the kingdom of darkness no wonder in the book you say what i got the is that okay everybody has power even you now have power if you don't have power can you turn to your neighbor and look upon them and do like this you'll be shocked that you release something whether it is bahose whether it's a uh, it's something so when he says he's releasing power maybe it's just normal like this it's not one serious thing they get the point now so you have to be able to understand everybody has power but power is in diverse degree so when moses appeared before them in egypt he put a rod he turned to something them too did the same thing you get the point now so but we saw the contention between powers and powers it's the same way that in the operations of spiritual warfare power can come against you so it's dangerous for a believer to be powerless at night around 1 a.m or something this beloved lady called me one of the honorable was so down just he just wake up and suddenly he began to he was convulsing to die what do you think came against him it was power Honorable that would never come inside that they died, they call, they call, they couldn't, they call, they were rushing. We have to pray and pray and pray and pray. Later he got revived. What came after is power. Why do you think people just wake up and stroke, catch them and they die? Power. Some of these people is not biological. Why have you not had stroke? In the day, power come. Something beyond stroke can even come. They can just diagnose you. I know somebody that actually had HIV and AIDS now. He never slept with anybody. Nothing happened. He said as he was sleeping at night, something somebody came and put something in him. He wake up and he begin to dry. Those things are what we call powers. I know women that they have never aborted, never done anything, but they were they were married to after they were married, somebody came and put hand and removed their womb and they went to put it in their pocket is power whatsoever that will make an entity appear in the spirit and press your neck you are shouting g g g jesus in the mouth of someone that is powerless he is still powerless 
so there is something called powers that come after you you may be obedient to god very well but you don't understand the economy of power how do you get power as a believer prayer when we say you should pray it's because prayer is a sacrifice to gain power prayer can be a communication with god so if you limit prayer only to communication with god my brother stop being communicating with god ask god for power because a day will come that a spirit may come and stop the communication with god and kill you with his own power so as you are communicating with god say god i beg give me power so there is a prayer we do as a sacrifice to gain power and that is what we call praying hard and long anytime you see us praying for so long we are not praying prayer point we just gather that's the reason why one of us can be on the bus going to abuja the thing will crash and we will come out and say thank you jesus and you your leg one will be hanging like they are looking for her to power because what came after us was a weapon of the kingdom of darkness but we knew the economy of the weapon of prayer are you with me now